Hi, I'm Siobhan Benita and I'm the independent candidate in this year's Mayor of London election. I'm putting education and youth right at the heart of my manifesto. I'm the only candidate who has a youth manifesto in this election. And when I become mayor on the 3rd of May, I will appoint a young mayor for London and have a Greater London Youth Assembly so that representatives of young people from every borough can hold me, the mayor, to account on a whole range of policy areas. Hi, I'm Tasha Danvers, 400 metre hurdles, Olympic bronze medalist from 2008. I think it's important for you to vote, to make sure that their voice is heard, no point sitting at home complaining. If you want to make a change, you've got to be active. And um, there's someone that I think has a lot of brilliant policies and looks out for the, the welfare of youth, and that's Siobhan. I know that young people in London, they want to talk about all of the issues, not just about crime and some of the negative things that public leaders always associate with our young people. I know that young people also want to talk about the future of London. They want to help shape the environment. They want to talk about transport policies and housing policies. And that's what my Greater London Youth Assembly and the Young Mayor for London will help them do. Hi, I'm Infector, I'm an artist and I'm here at Youth Vogue London because I believe that youth are the future and the youth need to know how to shape their future and I am totally in favour of supporting the candidate that has youth agenda as a priority in her list. And I'm saying this is your London. I want to be your voice when I'm mayor. I'll have more festivals, I'll have more events, I'll put on a big sporting event once a year, a big cultural event once a year. I really want to celebrate the fantastic diversity of London. Other party political candidates, they don't listen to people enough. Politicians have got too used to talking and they don't do enough listening. This is your city. I want to be your voice in London. So I want to hear what you have to say. Every fortnight when I'm there, I'm going to have an open meeting. And the public can come in, you can come in and tell me the things you care about most. I'm going to speak on your behalf. Hello, I'm AJ or Dudu and I'm a TV presenter. We should vote because we can vote um, and it's, it's really great. Um, and our voices need to be heard, facts. Um, and everyone's voice should be heard. And that is why um, it was really interesting um, to see um, Siobhan, um, who was an independent, who is an independent candidate. Um, she was brilliant, um, really engaging. Um, I was actually quite shocked because I'd never even heard of her. Um, that's obviously because um, she's not getting that much publicity, which is a real shame, because a lot of the things that she was saying was hard hitting, um, really engaging to the youth. This is our city. We can make it great together. So as mayor, I'm saying, let's recognise where good things are being done to improve equality in London. Hello, my name is Kamara, also known as Ms Kamara. I'm a singer, songwriter, actress and youth mentor. Um, as a young person, I believe that young people need to be heard more. Um, they have been ignored recently and in the past years. And um, I, I support the fact that Siobhan is actually, um, her policies are aimed mainly at young people and helping them rise. So yeah, that's what I'm here to say. Thank you. My name is Eliza Ribeiro, I am 18 and I am the founder of a campaign called Lives Not Knives, stopping young people from getting involved in gangs. Young people need to vote because they need to have a say on who is going to be the next mayor, not just complain when everything's happened and not just complain that we have a new mayor in and they've got loads of new things that they're doing to London but they haven't had a say on who they're voting for. So it is extremely important that they go down to a polling station and vote. It's time to do things differently. It's time for real change in London. And on the 3rd of May, when you go to this election, you can vote for that change.